Okay, part number six. So from the Google map file, we have converted it to a Google KML file. Not sure what it stands for. So I can save this file now. This will contain all my uh, trails and all my... Uh, this is called a waypoint. This balloon, it basically gives you a single point. So let me save this as uh, my first uh, whatever map trail. Save. So this is something you can view in uh, Google Earth. If you click on it, we can uh, to download it in a GPS. We'll need to convert it from this uh, Google format. My first map. We'll have to convert it to a different format called a GPX file. A GPX file is a text file and it's a standard format which is supported by most uh, GPS devices. Uh, and it's kind of an XML format. Um, we will open it and I will show you how they kind of save this. Voila, here you kind of see the text format. So basically uh, you will have some headers here. I mean people who are familiar with XML might see this, know this syntax. They have some um, kind of style sheet for this. So here basically there are two elements. So whenever you have this opening brace and uh, closing brace you are starting a new element. So this is called the waypoint, remember, every exact single point here, these individual points are called waypoints. And uh, what you will save now in this text file is, you will save the latitude and the longitude. So we'll talk a bit more about this, latitude and longitude gives you an exact location uh, of this uh, waypoint. So latitude will be like your, um, I mean, position along the uh, kind of, uh, uh, along the, <coughs> latitude means north to south position, longitude will uh, give you an east to west position. Uh, we'll come in, in much more detail on that. So with these two coordinates, uh, any point on the earth will be uh, exactly determined. Uh, the precision of this typically will be up till like uh, like 3 meters or something. Uh, we have given a name to this point, name. And then you have the next point, we have another peak here at a different location. So waypoints are there and then uh, you will also have tracks. So every line that I've drawn it will have a name like the ridge, remember? And what is that trail or that track? That track is nothing more than click, click, click. So I'm just connecting individual points, right? So every track will correspond uh, as like a collection or a list of track points basically. So longitude, latitude. Right, so this I can download now. This is a standard format supported by Gorman, by other GPSs. I can download this and uh, then my GPS will show me the same exact, th at the same location, uh, show me the same uh, lines actually. Uh, I can also maybe open, just for your reference, like some uh, trails that uh, have been downloaded from a GPS. So the same kind of GPX files will be produced by a GPS as you walk through the mountain. As you basically, the GPS will actually keep tracking your current position. So it will generate a trail along the, uh, I mean, the trail that you have been walking along. So if I just open, like say, three weeks ago, we went to Nogala, uh, Nogala six for the 61 time. Call us mental or what, but we did it once again. <laughs> So if you look here again, the same waypoints are there. Whoa, 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 whoa. But this is again something that I've drawn. This is not a GPS generated trail, I think. No, 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 no. This is one that I created. So let me uh, let me really take something that was generated by GPS. So say for example, let's take Nagalapuram 2, two years ago. Voila. Here actually I think you will see a little bit more. So here if you look at the waypoint, for every position that you have walked along in the jungle, you will see more information. In addition to the latitude and the longitude, right, which gives you an exact uh, kind of position on the globe, you will also see when, at exactly at which time, up till the second precision, when you were in that position. So you can actually track back in time, uh, if you go in your trail, at which moment of time you were in that uh, trail. And uh, it's not present in this uh, trail, but normally the GPS will also kind of keep track of your altitude. So in addition to your horizontal position, you should also, voila, see the elevation. 
so every point where you have visited it will keep track of the I'm gonna disable this because people will keep disturbing so you will see your horizontal position you will see how high you are at that moment and you will see when you were there so kind of this is like your four dimensional space right three dimensions in space plus also the time dimension so you can actually recreate in time uh, your three dimensional trail into the the field basically okay so any questions on this now we're going to look at some different types of uh, topographic maps which are available for India no okay let's just take a look now if you go to Chennai trackers okay sorry uh, hurry one second let me pause because they can anyway not hear okay so now let's uh, now that we understand how to kind of um, identify streams trails through Google Maps say kind of convert them to GPX files which can be downloaded in uh, GPS's uh, let's take a look at other sources of maps uh, which are useful for uh, South India um, so here actually I could go to my uh, presentation which is kind of ready-made and has some of these maps so let's go a little bit so here actually you see uh, several sources which are useful so one we have seen which is the Google Maps I've also given like the detail here the amount of detail so this is the scale remember one centimeter on the map corresponds to 250 meter right if you make the ratio that's 1 by 25,000 scale of your map so that is a, a very decent scale I mean for a tracker 1 by 25k 1 by 50k is pretty good so, uh, so that is there we'll take a look at Google Art Google Art is like uh, as the uh, extra three-dimensional view which can be very interesting to kind of uh, see or uh, I mean see the terrain in a three-dimensional way uh, Wikimapia is a useful thing so we'll talk a bit about this later uh, one of the best maps I would say for off-road uh, navigation would be the survey of India uh, so this is basically hand-drawn topo maps uh, these maps do not only contain topographic information like altitudes of the terrain but also contain lots of other detail uh, you can see those maps that I've given around these are actually survey of India maps uh, they actually contain lots of details like they will have villages they will have temples they will have streams they will have density of uh, the bushes uh, uh, vegetation yeah? so they will have like uh, jeep trails they will have walkable trails lots of lots of detail is shown on those maps plus very important is those maps are also useful for tracking they have a very detailed scale 1 by 50 or 1 by 25 K then uh, two other maps which I'm kind of using once in a while because uh, the problem is we go frequently to Andhra Andhra it's not easy to get survey of India maps the government is a bit scared of scared of nexalites there and uh, and uh, and other stuff so it's not easy to get a map there without some high-level contacts in the government so India has been fully met by the Americans and the Russians 70 like 70 years ago these are like worldwide world world war two maps like very old but again as I tell you the peaks are still where the peaks were one century ago and uh, one nice thing about these maps is that they contain some very old jeep tracks some like forts British forts like some uh, old British uh, rest houses deep inside the jungle which you can actually uh, locate on these maps only problem with these maps is that they are a very high scale I mean it's like one centimeter here corresponds to 2.5 kilometer or 1 by uh, 2 kilometer on a uh, Russian uh, army map so these are not that useful for tracking because as a tracker right you're not moving that fast I mean like before you cover two and a half kilometers in uh, <laughs> in the jungle through dense bushes and through st steep inclines uh, it could take you several hours so that means several hours one centimeter is like not very useful another source is the NASA very recent very precise interesting data a bit higher precision one two centimeter to one kilometer is uh, the NASA uh, so here they're using some modern technology basically to scan again the altitude uh, of the terrain we'll take a look at these and then we'll also take a look at the open street maps which are some open source initiative before that